All right, I got, uh, I'm fixing to start grinding the bevels on, you know what? I forgot to, I did, I forgot to, uh, uh, put my, uh, grind line mark up here on the blue. I got to take it back off. Well, for some reason, the, the blue on these files does not take a good scribe line. It does up here, but uh, not on the file portion. So I'm just going to use my uh, calipers and, uh, you know, grind until I get to that point there. And I'll just measure it all the way down, make sure I'm the same on both sides. And I actually ought to start doing this from now on because it does get difficult to match the, the, the depth of the grind lines, the grind bevels on each side. And uh, this should make it a little easier. Okay, I'm fixing to get to grind and I'm gonna do all three of these. All right, <clears throat> now, making it more difficult. There you go. All right. Now I mount this the other way and work on the other side. Let me get it bolted up. All right. Now the hand sanding starts. Probably gonna take me, oh, let's see, today's Friday? Yeah, I won't. I think I'm gonna have all my parts next week for the generator. So uh, I'm gonna get on that project and get it finished. And next week, it's supposed to be cooler. I mean, it's supposed to be 107 to 111 heat index today. And uh, my God, I come out here early to turn my AC on. Otherwise, there's no way it would have cooled down this building here. So. All right, I'm going to drink me a cup of coffee. I got all the bevels ground. They look great. Uh, they all come out just nearly identical. And uh, now I'm going to start the hand sanding process. But first, we must get coffeeed up. I was just uh, thinking about a, a comment that was left earlier. And... Uh, the comment was, I uh, forget exactly how it was worded, but it was worded in such a way that I think the person who was asking was under the impression that my purdy knives uh, couldn't take a beating and be used, you know, in the woods. And I want to say that my purdy knives are made from exactly the same steel that a knife you would take into the woods and give a beating to they're heat treated and tempered in, in exactly the same way the only difference between a knife you would take in the woods and use and the knives i make are once you take them in the woods and use them they're going to get scratched up and dinged up and you know uh the purdy's gone so they're the, the same knives it's just that it takes me a couple of extra days to make them purdy uh, you know, I could toss out a knife real quick that uh, you'd be happy to take in the woods, but that's not what I like to do. And, uh, you know, if you buy a purdy knife and take it in the woods, uh, it's yours. You can do it every month with it. But the, uh, you know, the thing is, it's the exact same steel. It's 1084 steel. And uh, heat treated, the, the only way you can heat treat knives. And... Uh, I got some eighth inch in that took forever so it's you know it's the same steel that you would make any knife out of whether you uh, make it not purdy or you make it purdy and it's heat treated and tempered to the exact same hardness specifications here's my hardness tester right here 
that's uh what is that 55 yeah 55 anything above 55 for a using bushcraft hunting knife is more than adequate and uh you know if you want harder than that you're gonna have to use stainless or something with, with far less of a carbon content in it so anyway i just thought i'd answer that question more clearly than uh I, I answered his comment but i don't think i made it clear that my knives are exactly uh the same as anybody else's knife same steel same heat treatment process the only difference is you know uh, i try to make them purdy that's all it's just uh makes me happy to do that uh, they don't have to be purdy and uh that's the only difference between uh, pur my purdy knives and something you you know take in the woods and beat on all right, my wife's going to the house. I'm fixing to go drink me a Coke. It's a little past lunch and uh, sit on the front porch with her. I'm halfway done with these three knives. I mean, by done, I mean, I got all the bevels ground. I got the grind lines sanded out of this. I got one side sanded, so I'm exactly halfway. Well, this And this is 180, so. Uh, I probably will get all three of these sanded up to 180 today. And that is a major hump, you know, uh, to get the bevels ground and to get all the grind lines sanded off up to 180 is a major hump. And after that, the different grits progress much, much quicker. Today's Friday. You know, I might have handles glued onto these. Uh, if I stay after it Saturday and Sunday, I could probably glue these handles on Sunday late evening and Monday morning they'll be ready to start shaping handles. So, uh, that's it. All right, I'm going to go drink a Coke. See ya. All right, I am up to 220. I'm fixing to start on 320. But, uh, man, I tell you, I'm, my sanders are killing me. <laughs> And uh, that's not helping. So I'm gonna knock off. It ain't really that late yet. So all three of these are up to 220. And uh, tomorrow I will get them, I will get them heat treated and tempered. That will be the last thing I do. I'll send them all up to about 800. And then I'll heat treat them and temper them. Before I go home, I'll put them in the tempering oven. Oh, golly. I tell you, my uh, sanding muscles are just killing me. You don't want to hear about that. But it's, it's a fact. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Saturday.